Hello students. In our last class, we have discussed about the memory units of computer. That is, we have discussed the primary memory, secondary memory, and their types. Right. In this video, we'll discuss and discuss how these, uh, how the data, information, and instructions are stored in computer. In what form they are stored. Okay. Then we'll discuss about the machine language, and the binary number what are the machine language binary number what are they and how the informations are in what form the informations are stored in a computer will discussed in this video so let's begin so first let us consider the situation that we human beings, how do we interact with each other or how do we pass information among one another? We use language, right? Someone talk in English, someone talk in Hindi, Assamese, Nepali, Bengali, Spanish. So these are the languages. So the main purpose of using the language is what? To pass information, right? To interact with another human being, isn't it? So, similarly, in the in means this in languages does what they give some definite set of rules for us to follow so that the next person person can understand us what I we want to say the next person can understand, isn't it? That's the main purpose of the language, right? So similarly, for computers to interact among themselves or among the parts in the computer or the user uh, to interact with the computer there need to be some specific set of rules that means that means what there need to be some language right a language must be there to interact among the components of the computer and also the user and the computer right without the language it is not possible to interact with anyone or anything right so so the for computer there is a specific type of language okay for the computer system like we are using we use english or hindi to interact among one another for computer there is a specific type of language and that is called the machine language all right okay now see every language is uh, made up of some characters or you can say alphabets and symbols right for english let us consider for english that is a to z the 26 alphabets and uh, different symbols comma full stop semicolon right these all together form the language same thing for hindi also there will be ka, ka, ga, right so there must be some definite alphabets or symbols you can say to represent the language right similarly the machine language which the computer used to interact or store information okay also need some set of symbols all right so mainly there is uh, two symbols that is used or as a whole that is called binary number okay so for that what the computer uh, what is the set of symbols or rule uh, set of symbols is 0 and 1 so the machine language is consist of these two only 0 and 1 and that's why these two is called binary number okay why binary by means 2 right like bicycle why it is bicycle because there are two wheels isn't it similarly binary number because there are two digits you can say to represent the number all the numbers right so that's why it is binary number zero and one this is the part of machine language that means the language that the computer understands all right so every information every instruction every data in the computer is 
consists of some unique combinations of zeros and ones all right that means what whenever i am typing say a whenever i am typing a so there will be from output i have given a right inside the computer computer will not read it as a in place of that it will read some unique combinations of zeros and one that represent a okay getting my point say for example a so this is the how the this is just an example so this is how a is represented inside a computer let us consider that okay so there will be some unique combinations of zeros and ones to represent every letter every symbol every data every information every instruction inside a computer okay that means what the whole computer system or, or the whole data or information or instruction in the computer is represented by some unique combinations of zeros and ones unique combination means say a is represented by these combinations of zeros and ones right then b cannot be represented by this okay b will have some uh, different combinations of zeros and ones so this have so say b has this combination of zeros and ones so every computer computer system will have unique combinations of zeros and ones for every instructions and every information okay both two informations cannot have the same combinations of zeros and ones because then it will be confusing right getting my point so so every video that you watch in the uh, computer is this some combinations of zeros and ones everything that you type in the computer is some combinations of zeros and one everything you do in the computer play game and everything you think that every instruction that you are providing to the computer or every software that you are using or every application that you are using in your smartphone all are made of zeros and ones because computer understands only binary number okay so as we are entering a there is some software that is converting the value of a to this kind of combinations of zeros and ones as we are giving instructions say opening an app so when i am clicking the app computer doesn't know that you are clicking it is reading some software is there that is converting that touch okay to some combinations of zeros and ones and then computer is under understanding that yes the user wants to open this app okay so the basic thing is you have to know that the computer understands only machine language machine language is made up of binary number which is two digit that is zero and one and every instruction in the computer or every data in the computer is represented by some com unique combinations of zeros and ones all right so this video up to this much in the next video we'll study about bits bytes and get more broader explanation of a binary number all right so thank you